You know how everybody enjoys watching top athletes compete in one single event? Well, last weekend it happened right here at Fraser Downs when Standard Brett Cannon invited eight of the top Western Region drivers to compete in what is called the Western Regional Drivers Championship. The results went like, went like this. The top two drivers who accumulated the most points would come back in March for the Canadian Finals. Then the top driver from that event would head on to Norway. And as you can see, this was not a drive in the park. The Western Regional Driving Championship comprises eight drivers from Western Canada, all competing for two spots in the Canadian Driving Championships to be held here at Fraser Downs in March. Representing Manitoba is Daryl Mason. Representing Saskatchewan is Glenn Ledru. Alberta is represented by three drivers, Kelly Hort, Keith Clark, and Jerry Hudon. Representing BC is Jim Marino, Bill Davis, and Scott Knight. The competition got off to a fantastic start with long shots all hitting the board. Alberta's Gary Hudon brought home my alibi at $53 to earn 15 points in the first race. Jim Marino and Kelly Hort took home second and third place honors. Have any idea you're going to get the job done at $53? Well, in front of the grandstand, he wasn't keeping up. I didn't think I was. I, I thought he was kind of struggling, but they kind of come back to him pretty good in the last turn. And I got him off the rail, off the fence, and he started to pace hard in the last turn, and he just kept coming. What kind of jump does this give you, the Alberta jocks, the drivers? Well, I mean, I, anytime you can start out with a couple of wins, it makes your day go a little better and easier. So, I mean, it's gonna. I think we're gonna have fun today. How guys, how serious do you take this? Well, I think it's uh, we're representing. We're gonna for any if we're gonna make it to the finals, we're gonna represent Canada and the world. And I think you gotta take it serious. I mean, it's uh, it's all about racing horses and having fun. And I think it's gotta be you have to have some seriousness to it. Okay, good, good luck. Thanks. Thank you. The second race ran closer to form with Glenn Ledru bringing home Auric Aura, followed closely by Jerry Hudon and Jim Marino. Let's see how the challenge board looks after two races. Looks like Jerry Hudon has a good lead with Jim Marino and Glenn Ledru looking over his shoulder. After the second race, we caught GCGC Vice President Chuck Keeling to get his read on today's championship. Yeah, I think it's important in that it's uh, a key event on our calendar. We race 107 days at Fraser Downs uh, every year. I think any time that you can uh, add a new element, whether it's new horses in, new drivers, new trainers, different competition, uh, the, our, our players always respond. We had a couple big days this year already when we brought in two drivers from uh, Woodbine, the Woodbine by Mohawk circuit. So I think having these guys from the Alberta circuit, from Manitoba and Saskatchewan, and the fact that these guys are competing to go on and represent our country uh, in the World Championships in Oslo, Norway, uh, this means something to them as well. So this is a good step for the Nationals that we'll have back here in March. Race number three saw Keith Clark edge out Kelly Hort and Bill Davis for 15 more points. The fourth driver's challenge featured the odds board favorites running to form and earning major points for Bill Davis, Kelly Hort, and Scott Knight. The new director of racing, Jackson Whittem, gave us his insight on the championship. Well, they've always had a national uh, representative to go to the World Driving Championship. Standard Bread Canada decided that let's earn it and let's have some uh, representation that you go across Canada. So this is the second time that the representative has had to way, win their way out of Canada. And uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Each region has one of these division championships and it's been a lot better format. Uh, ironically, when you talk to the drivers, how does it work with drivers that would have been driving today, did they give up their amounts to, do, to the drivers to come in? Sure they did, and there's a lot of local guys, but there's some interest too. It's got to be a big picture thing once in a while as well. Uh, they were going to receive national coverage today with everybody betting, and then especially with the National Drivers' Championship coming, we've got Paul McDonnell and some other big names coming from across Canada. So somewhere along the way, you've got to look at the big picture and hope you're doing something right for the sport. How's it going so far? Oh, it's great. I did the seven and eight hole, they've been uh, represented it well, and uh, outside guys and Bill Davis, uh, there was a little bit of criticism that this wasn't a true driver's championship in the fact that he drove his own horses, but you can't get around that, and uh, it's worked out well. Jim Marino makes his move in challenge race number five and wins with La OKC, and followed by Bill Davis and Glenn Ledru. Let's see where the drivers stand in the competition now. 
BC drivers Bill Davis and Jim Marino are tied at the top of a close race. With only three races to go, lots of points up for grabs. The competition's heating up. Race six sends Kelly Hort up to the scoreboard with his win aboard Jesse James. But Drew and Knight pick up some precious points. Race seven has a mild upset when Kelly Hort gets most out of White Sand Lord and brings home the winner and 15 more points for himself. Kelly, you're one away from going to the finals. What's it like right now? Uh, actually, I haven't been keeping track, to be honest with you. I'm just trying to get the best trip I can and get as much money for these guys as I can. So. Well, you're right there anyway, just in case you didn't know you tied for the lead. Oh, well, that's good. All right. Let's look at the scoreboard going into the final leg of this championship. Kelly Hort has a slim lead over Fraser Downs' Jim Marino, but with lots of points still up for grabs, it'll make for a great finish. What finish could be more appropriate to horse racing than to have a dead heat for first place in the championship? Tied with 62 points apiece for BC's Bill Davis and Alberta's Kelly Hort. Both Bill and Kelly will be back in March to represent Western Canada in the Canadian Driving Championship. That will be held right here at Fraser Downs in March. First of all, congratulations, Kelly and Billy. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Tommy. Hey, you said something really nice. Explain to explain what you were talking about, Dan, about what the drivers and the, and the trainers did to make this go. Well, you know, the trainers put their horses in. They don't know who they're getting to drive, and you know, they really have to participate in this. And you know, you've been in that spot, and you you got they got their regular drivers who do have been doing great on their horse and know their horse, so they put them in here. They don't know who they're going to get, and I mean, all great drivers, you know, here and that participated in this today. If you get lucky, you get the right horse. Uh, in the right class and the right trip, you know, anyone, anybody could have uh, could have done it if they, if everything comes together. So you can see I'm cold by my mic, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy, your thoughts? Well, I'm basically the same thing Kelly said there, and you know, it was a great for the common for everybody here to, you know, to get these horses all ready and they had the drivers all had to sit out and watch it, and, and uh, you know, I think it was, it was a good goal today. Kelly, one one thing, uh, going to the last two races, did you think you had any chance of taking this? Uh, honestly, I really wasn't keeping track that much. I knew Billy was, he, he seemed to be ahead of me every time I, I looked finishing a mile. So I really wasn't keeping, you know, too much track. Just mostly just get in the race and do the best you can and try to make some money. Billy, was there any turning point in today that turned this around for you? Well, the last race for sure. But um, like I say, I wasn't, I didn't think I was in, uh, and then running there, I think I was around third or fourth or something going in the last race or something. So I'm not, I didn't, I didn't think my horse could uh, be able to get there. So. Uh, we, we ended up working there. So.